welcome back everybody to another all things nerd video as always my name is nathan welcome back to exploring the world of azeroth in world of warcraft today's adventure leads us to udegard i think i'm saying that right keep <laughs> since we did udegard pinnacle obviously we have to do udegard keep next and today we're going to be breaking out of bounds i'm going to be showing you how and this full credit goes to after x again he was the first one to find this out of bounds now before we begin this video i just want to draw your attention to two affiliates of mine real quick Hey guys, my first affiliate is GamingHero.io. GamingHero.io is the best way to make a lot of gold in a short amount of time. They have a bunch of gold guides and they're really awesome. And they've actually helped hundreds of people pay for WoW with gold rather than real money. And they've actually helped myself as well. And I've been playing, uh, been paying for all my memberships with their guides. So they're really awesome. I highly recommend that you check them out. Um, I'll put my link and code in the description below. If you decide to sign up, please use it. You'll get a 10% discount. Thanks. Hey guys, so my second affiliate is Zygor Guides. Zygor Guides is the best and fast way to level your characters in World of Warcraft and accomplish more in less time. I've actually been using their add-on as well, and it's really, really, really awesome and useful. They have a custom guide viewer add-on, and the guides are displayed into the game, and they actually use an op optimized step-by-step -step format to tell you everything you need to know from uh, doing quests to raids to dungeons, the fastest way, the fastest route and way to level up. And they're really awesome. And I highly recommend you check them out as well. If you decide to sign up, definitely use my affiliate link in the description or comment section below. You'll get a 20% discount and I would appreciate it if you check them out. So thanks. All right, guys, let's get right into this escaping out of bounds here. Where I'm currently at in Udegard Keep, is the final boss room uh in ingvar the plunderer <laughs> i think i'm saying that right so at the final boss room it is very very simple to escape all you need to do is come over here to the back or i guess yeah that works and then just put like a toy right on the back here sit on it and there you go you're officially outside of the map and you've escaped outside of Udegard keep so now we're free to go explore and uh let's go take a look around now I'm very excited. Uh, so I just want to tell you guys before we begin, I really beg you to stay until the very final parts of this video. There is a really, really awesome thing you're going to see. And I'm not sure exactly why Blizzard put this in the back here. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I won't spoil it, but there is something in this Out of Bounds dungeon that's just very unique out of any Out of Bounds dungeon I've seen. It's obviously there for a reason, and I'm not sure why, but I'll show you here a little later, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So let's go take a look around and see how this kind of compares to the Udgard Pentacle uh, from the last video that we had done. Now, as we make our way out here, you're going to see that the burning ship is actually, if I believe, nowhere to be found. So that's kind of funny to me that they would keep the burning ship in a... Uh, OOB that you're never supposed to see, but then they don't keep it over here where you actually see the whole time outside the dungeon from the final boss room. And I don't know, it just doesn't make any sense to me. You would have think they would keep a lot more out here. Now, as we're coming up here, look at this. We got some floating, I don't know, stands going on here. And they do keep all of the town out here, but a lot of the furniture and the fire, the bonfire and all that is gone. It's just so funny to me that Blizzard kept so much out of bounds in the pinnacle of things you're never supposed to see but things you can see from the outside here you, there's nothing to be found so what that decision making was i don't know uh but it's very strange to me that they don't you know keep more stuff out here so now as we come over here you're going to be able to see the edge of the world here so you can kind of get a good glimpse of kind of what's going on in this dungeon a lot of good smoke and mirrors outside of here. We can get a good shot of the dungeon right here. From the outside, you can see it is fully rendered from the outside. Which is really cool to see. And you can get a good shot of the town down here. Isn't that a beautiful shot right there? Look at that. We're actually going to take a screenshot because I like that picture right there. Alright, let's keep making our way out this way. 
And let's go see the edge of the world out here. And I'm going to give you guys a good view of what's kind of going on. Again, I just want to thank everybody who's been enjoying this northern series. Uh, unfortunately, we already did Naxxramas a long time ago. I was thinking about in the future actually doing remastered videos. Uh, what I mean by remastered is, if you know, like, you know, when companies, they come out with remastered games and they update the graphics and sometimes they change the story and all that. They do reboots. Um... I want to do remasters in the future because I'm going to be looking to save for a new computer in the future. I really need to upgrade my rig and uh, <laughs> I kind of am getting an uh, older graphics card here. I have a 2070 Super, but I would like to jump up if possible uh, to a really high end graphics card. So I'm going to start saving money for that. And uh, I want to be able to redo my videos, but with maxed out graphics and stuff like that. So I think that would be really cool in the future to call them remastered videos and go and visit old OOBs that I've already done and just see what it would be like with the updated graphics and all that. Because right now I'm playing on a, I think like details five or four for the most part. So not everything's maxed out. I don't have ray tracing on. So I don't know. I think it'd be cool to do a, like a videos in the future about it so anyways that will be for the future let's get back to the video as you can see here we are on the edge of the world you can see a bunch of the gray untextured space out here that you can walk and uh you can see all the water out in the distance there as well so let's keep making our way out this way and let's go take a look out here now, it is very similar to the Pinnacle map. The Pinnacle had kind of the whole map of the Howling Forge out here. And True Hero, don't forget to like, subscribe. That's right, don't forget to like, subscribe. I always forget to say that in my videos, so I appreciate him and Maiden always saying that in my videos, because um, it was, uh, I appreciate them reminding me, because I'm not very good. I try to stay humble as much as possible. Uh, I don't know, it's just, or I just forget to say it, so I don't know. Maybe I'm humble, maybe I'm not, but. Now, one thing I do love out here is that the, the uh, skybox is beautiful again. One of my favorite skyboxes in the game is definitely out here in the Howling Forge, and, you know, Wrath of the Lich King was just an amazing expansion, wasn't it? Very, a lot of the places out there were just great, and a lot of memories are made, especially for being the second expansion in world of warcraft i don't know i i know a lot of people thought it was the peak of wow and um i was too young to really experience the expansion i remember getting to northern and actually questing there but i don't remember actually ever doing any of the raids and the dungeons and all that unfortunately because i was too young and like i said in my last video i actually started playing a cataclysm so i never really got to experience northern that much So I should have played what more of WoW Classic because I would, you know, I would have been able to play more Northern and Wrath of the Lich King and all that, but that's okay. I'm trying to focus more on retail. I'm very excited for the War Within. I can't wait to uh, get that expansion. So anyways, I keep sidetracking. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'm just excited to talk about a lot of different things. And uh, let's get back to the video. As we're coming out here, you can see there's a lot of forest area. So they do keep a lot of the surrounding area. Some of the um, the Grizzly Hills is up here. Gosh, sometimes I forget the name, so I'm always like opening my map to go check things out. <laughs> so they do keep some of the Grizzly Hills up here. You can see some of the snow, and uh, but it does cut off, unfortunately. But we did see a lot of the Grizzly Hill Mountains in the Pinnacle video. So if you want to see that, definitely go check out that video. A lot of the mountains is up there, and there is uh, a lot to see. So let's keep making our way out this way, and let's go take a look down here. As you can see, the backside of the dungeon, it is fully rendered from the backside as well. So it is fully modeled and rendered, which is really neat to see. I'm surprised they actually keep as much out here as they do. Because you only get a small part while you're out here, but, you know, they did need to make a whole uh, outdoor scene, right? So... Now, you can see some dragons flying around there in the distance. And some camps going on with a beautiful waterfall here in the distance as well. Or two, I should say. Wow, look at that. We're getting spoiled.
Now you can swim. I have been out here and I have tested the water. So you're not going to DC or anything if you decide to go swimming. So feel free to jump on in if you want to do a cool cliff dive into the water. Oh, by the way, coming up, I'm actually going to be releasing memberships uh, for $2.99 a month. So if you're wanting to join the ATN membership, you're going to get some cool benefits from that. Uh, exclusive emotes, top comment um, priority, stuff like that. So uh, I'm going to be coming out with that an announcement here probably in the next week or so. So look out for that. That's going to be fun. And that's just another way you can support the channel. And uh, But yeah, I'm excited to do that because I've been wanting to create a bunch of custom emotes and stuff like that. Now, what's really interesting here is you actually see the uh, the other side of this dungeon here. And it's okay. We're going to go drop down here because we're going to be dropping down here anyways. Because if you guys notice in on my right side over here, there is something in the distance that I want to show you here in a little bit. That's going to be like the very special part of the video. It's very strange piece of land and it was like very hidden here in the back. I don't know why it's back there. Maybe someone can explain that to me once we get back there, but we're going to go explore back there here in a little bit. But before we do that, let's go head out this way and I want to give you guys a view of the backside of the dungeon here and it's completely not modeled here in the back. So it is completely gone. But if you were to jump in there, obviously you would go jump in back into the dungeon. So we don't want to make our way back in there. But you can get an awesome view from the backside over here. And w w the way the dungeon looks from the backside. So it's really awesome to see. So it is completely cut off. But if we were to jump inside of here, we would just fly directly straight back into the dungeon. So we're not going to do that. Ooh. Okay. Yep. We do got to be careful. We don't want to clip back in. We definitely want to keep going exploring more. Let's keep going out this way. Let's go see what we can find. All right, guys, we are back. Sorry about that. Had to step away for a minute. So did a little edit cut in the video here. But let's continue our journey uh, heading out north here up on the map. And you guys can kind of get a good backside of this dungeon. Look at the caves going in there. Isn't that awesome? There's actually a lot to see down here. But I'm not going to go down there. And the reason being is coming up, you're going to see why I'm not going to go down there. There's something very special outside this map. That uh, is really awesome to see. And I know I keep talking about it. I'm not going to spoil it, but... Uh, let's go see the back side of this map, and then we'll start heading towards the island over there. Now, you guys kind of get a little shot of the end of the world here. So, it, the map does cut off. It's all gray, untextured space. There is water. And uh, you can see some trees and everything popping out here. So, pretty awesome. But, alright guys, give me one second. I'm going to go head out this way towards the island. Once I get closer, I will cut back to the video, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back and I'm actually having the camera turned around because I don't want to spoil anything just yet. Something very special is outside this out of bounds area. Do you guys remember the Everbloom dungeon when you get out of bounds and there was the whole Stormwind city and there's Westfall and there's some part of Ellen Forest? Well, there's something very similar to that out here. And what I'm about to show you is I can't explain or tell you exactly what it is, but I'm going to turn my camera around as we're approaching here. Now, as we're coming up here, you can see that something looks very, very familiar. It's almost like a miniature sized version of the dungeon itself is out here. Now, this is something really crazy and something that I've actually never seen before. If you make your way out of here, there is a whole rendered model of the Ud Udegard keep out here. Look at that. 
How unique is that? It's like a dungeon inside a dungeon of itself. I have never seen anything like this before. Now, why this is actually out here, I have no idea. I've been trying to figure out why this is out here. If somebody knows why they stuck a whole another this dungeon out here, what is the point in that? My only guess is that, well, when you're inside the dungeon, you're actually in there. But the moment you walk outside the dungeon, you're actually over here? Maybe? I don't know. I'm just, it's just very, it's very odd and very weird. But as you can see, something's really awesome is it's like a development playground out here. You can see the caves are all filled in, so you can't go into the caves. Uh, some of the textures aren't loaded in. You can see like part of the map is cut off. It's just like they took the Ud Udegard keep and stuck another version, mini version out here uh, all the way on the far left side. Why this is out here, I have no idea, but we're going to go take a look around. I want to show you guys some cool things out here. So there is a full tavern out here uh, that you can go inside and it will change your music, I believe. Let's go take a look at that real quick. Or you should be able to go outside of inside of it if I remember correctly. Yep, there we go. So the music has changed. So it does recognize that we're in a tavern. Ooh, it's glitching out. All right, but what's something that's really cool is you guys remember the uh, untextured pink boxes that we found outside of the uh, spires of a rock and all that. Look at this. Look at that. It's <laughs> it's not loaded in. Isn't that strange? So we got some pink uh, logs going on out here with spikes. I'm kind of giving you guys a little bit of a close-up look of these. Let's keep making our way out this way. And look at this. The caves are completely filled in. So this is actually a complete replica of the map, like over here, just sitting in the distance. Now, why this is here, I have no idea. I, I haven't figured this one out yet. So if anybody knows why the dungeon is like this, I would love to know. Now, this is a really cool shot right here. You can actually get a, uh, a unique thing out here outside the dungeon. Now, look at this. So you got unmodeled or untextured modeled homes out here of grayness <laughs> so you got a bunch of gray space out here and these are kind of trip huh this is like developers or programmers who are like messing around out here and they were just testing out test models and i don't know it's just really cool i this is one of my probably one of my second favorite oobs but look at this shot you can see there's a cave over here that you actually can't walk inside but you can see it on the back side here which i don't know i think is really neat Let me zoom out a little bit. There's just a lot of cool stuff to find here. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. It is an absolute pain to climb this hill. I did it last night. <laughs> and uh, it, there's a lot of manipulation and movement to do. I'm going to go climb it again, but I'm going to spare you guys the, uh, the session of watching me struggle to get up this mountain. Because it's going to take a minute for me to get up and back up there again. So I'm going to get up there. I want to show you guys the top side because there is a lot of interesting stuff to see up there as well. But um, let's just go see this. You actually get a really cool shot of the waterfall here. And you can walk across the water, like I said earlier. And you can swim in the water. So if you're afraid to jump in the water, don't be afraid. I know a lot of times we try to avoid water because it DCs you and OB, but don't be afraid. You can jump in this water and you can swim. So really awesome, which I was kind of surprised about I, because you actually don't swim in the dungeon at all. So I was kind of like, huh, surprised they kept that. So, all right, guys, I'm going to climb up this mountain and I'm going to get to the very top. And once I get to the top, I will be right back. All right, guys, we are back again. Sorry about that. It did a lot of maneuvering and flying around to get up here, but we're finally to the spot where I got up last night. I'm very excited to show you guys what is finally up here. So all we got to do is get out of this ditch. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to metamorphosis up here if I can. 
uh if it lets me last time last night it did um because right now i'm stuck in like a hole or like a ditch so i'm trying to find another way up there we go we did it nice all right we're officially up we still got it so as you guys could tell this is where i'm exactly at i am on top here and you can see all the uh, textured buildings down there of the gray space and something so weird like i said earlier about this dungeon is there's a whole another modeled version of the dungeon out here i don't understand this one bit but uh, maybe someone can explain why this is out here so we need to actually get rid of our elixir of growth and uh we're gonna go ahead out this way so what's really cool here is they do keep a carbon copy of basically everything we saw over there but more out here something very strange is look at all the homes and everything is gray gray textured or gray modeled or whatever you want to call it and it's so weird it's just like mushy untextured blobbiness of things you can kind of tell the center here there usually actually is a campfire fire right here in the uh, regular map i think we believe we saw in the pinnacle but let's keep making our way out this way and let's go see what else we can find i know there is some uh untextured pink cubes out in the distance here that we saw down below there there's some over here by the bridge so let's go take a look over there i can give you guys kind of a cool back shot of this dungeon here and there's actually some more textured sorry untextured gray space of buildings over here as well so that's going to be different to see now they do keep a lot of the chunk of the land up here but look at this look at that you finally got some more cube action going on here giant cubes look at that And it does actually recognize that we're inside of the dungeon. So if we actually jump over here, we can actually walk on this. And it and look at our mini map, we're just completely out of the game. Let's go see if we can actually walk into the keep here. I've never been over here yet, so I'm curious. So it does recognize we are Udegard Keep. Which part I don't know. That's so funny to me. Look at this giant pink square of white and pink square. This is cool. We're going to take a screenshot here. And we're going to go head out this way. And I want to show you guys something very interesting that you can see here. So the reason why I said earlier is I think... This is actually the entrance to the dungeon over there, if that makes sense. So if you were to go through the door over there, you would actually see this. And the reason I say that is if you actually make your way up here, here's the meeting stone right here. And you can actually click on it and it will say you need a party. So you could actually summon people out here. That would be interesting to try. And you can actually walk in here as well. Or maybe not. Okay, I thought you could. But, uh, I don't know. I thought that was very strange. So can you imagine, like, summoning a party of people out here? And they're going to go into the dungeon and, like, they're like, what the heck? Where are we? I don't know. I thought that was kind of funny, though. I definitely want to test that theory out. All right, let's go head out this way. And you guys can see the dungeon does cut off back here. Really awesome shot of the cubes underneath here. Don't want to walk off the edge look at that got to get another screenshot because that's just awesome looking and you can't keep going this way and all the way down here we do got another broken bridge going off here in the distance which you can fully walk on and if we actually make our way out this way You can see the underside of the waterfall over there. And some of the textures are actually sticking out of the ground here as well. And there's actually the backside of the dam there. So let's actually go head back up. I'll show you guys what's on the backside over there. And then we'll probably end the video there. But let's go make our way back up this way. 
You can go across the bridge again. Isn't this an awesome OOB? I just, I don't know, I thought this map was really awesome. I've had a lot of fun exploring out here. It's very unique in a way that they keep like a, you know, carbon copy of the actual dungeon outside of the dungeon. I just, I don't know, it's so strange to me. What all this is for, I don't know. I'm assuming this was maybe like a testing ground, or you obviously load into here somehow. Now it does recognize we're back in Uter. We're back inside the dungeon, so the music could change there for a second if you caught that. There we go. All right, let's go head out this way. And let's go take a look on the north side of the dungeon here. Out in the back, or east side, I should say. And now we're going north. But there is more mottled gray mush out here. And I want to give you guys a good look of the backside over here. And the map does cut off, so we are at the edge of the world. Whew. Look at that shot. We're like looking through the ground there. Look at all that underneath too. You can see inside the caves as well. Man, doing out of bounds stuff is so much fun. Like I said before, I wish Blizzard would uh, have some more challenges for out of bounds people. I don't know. It's just a lot of fun to do out of bounds things. Really grown to appreciate and love this. And uh, guys, I, I you know I just want to stop and just say thank you so much to everybody who's been supporting the channel. Uh, it's so much so much love and support you guys have been showing me and the channel and the the likes and the comments and uh, the ATN discord and It's been so much fun in there and I just want to say thank you guys without all of you I wouldn't have a YouTube channel and from the bottom of my heart. I just want to say thanks I've been having so much fun making this content. I you know, I'm not gonna stop. We got more to come We got all of Shadowlands to do we got all of Dragonflight dungeons to do. We got all some of Northern to do. We still got a lot of dungeons to cover that I haven't gone over yet. And there's going to be a lot more OOB content in the future. And it's just so much fun to come out here and explore different things. And um, so I just want to say thank you guys so much. It's I love what I do. And um, I'm just glad you guys are here with me, you know, doing the out of bounds and watching these videos. So it's so much fun. But Anyways, guys, I'm going to end the video here. This is Udegard Keep, and we have done the Keep and done the Pinnacle, and we're going to move on to our next adventure. I don't know what that video is going to be yet, but uh, I hope to see you guys on the next one. As always, my name is Nathan. Take care.